here today to introduce you to a series of videos that are going to take you behind the scenes of the development of Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. The hardcore game mode is for the, the true fans of Flashpoint. In hardcore mode, you're basically stripping out all of the supporting features and you're fighting as a soldier would. You're using line of sight to verify targets. And that's the experience that we think our hardcore fan base are really looking for. And it's, it's a great experience, especially in co-op. For starters, we take all of the HUD off. There's nothing there at all. No crosshair, no compass. You're all on your own other than a map. Okay, so a lot of people are wondering why have we taken everything up on Hardcore? Why don't you even have a compass? But after reading some of the feedback we got from the forums and some of the feedback from some of the people playing the game at E3, we made a conscious decision to strip everything out. It is Hardcore, it's turning it right up to 11. What makes an Operation Flashpoint mission special is so open world in nature. In most games you're very drawn through a very narrow corridor, whereas in Operation Flashpoint you really are left open to translate your orders as you see fit. There's a lot of room for manoeuvre and to adapt your tactics on the fly to what's immediately in front of you. You could attack any objective from any direction you want to. As a result of this, the, the AI has to be able to react, it has to be able to carry out threat assessment, it has a morale system, it's checking what the player is doing and where the player is and how well armed they are. One of the things that we really tried to achieve in Operation Flashpoint was a level of realism with the military tactics used. We did a lot of work with the Marines and we even got our hands on their playbook which gave us an idea of the kind of plays that they used. These plays work in very much the same way as say an American football play. They have distinct strategies that they use at distinct moments. We've incorporated as many of these as possible into Operation Flashpoint and we give the user the ability to do quite complex manoeuvres like flanking, assaults, engage, as well as if there is inherent behaviours that the team's AI will carry out. In a typical mission, you're going to be using the same tactics that the US Marine Corps would use in real life. You've got a fair, fine degree of control afforded by the, the command radial. As the fire team leader, you're really calling the shots. So you have a lot of control over your fire team. Uh, you can change the formation, you can change their rules of engagement, also their tactical spread. And then on top of that, you have all sorts of uh, abilities to give flanking orders, assault orders, suppressing orders. One of the context sensitive orders you can issue is assault building and this will allow you and your fire team to force your way in through the door and clear all the rooms within that building. I think the hardest thing that we have set out to achieve that I'm certainly most proud of is, is putting the fear back into first person shooters, getting that element of tension as you're creeping through the woods not knowing when the next shot's going to come from. This is about as hardcore as it gets so you better be careful.